Hey, Linda Bean from the Kellyanne Dolan Memorial Fund. I'm the outreach coordinator. Welcome to our Wednesday Shining a Light segment. I'd like to welcome my guest, Robin Wright, um, the managing partner from the Bonefish Grill in Montgomeryville. How you doing, Robin? Doing good, thank you for having me today. You're welcome, glad that you could be here. Um, Bonefish Grill in Montgomeryville, and Robin in particular as the managing partner, they've been such a great uh, friend and loyal supporter of the fund um, coming to our taste event. Robin, I think we were, we were trying to figure out, but we think at least for five years. Four, I actually had to do the countdown. I was looking at my hire date with Bonefish. So it was definitely, definitely four years. We'll be going into our fifth year here shortly. Very cool. And in addition to coming to taste, um, one of the highlights of our silent auction every year is they donate this dinner certificate, um, cocktails included, um, often ends up being a little bit of a, a bidding war and we raise a good amount of money for that certificate um, for our families for a financial assistance program. So thank you for being such a supporter. You're very welcome. It's our pleasure. It's our pleasure. I know our staff get, is super excited when the auction comes around. When I come back from the event, they all, they all start, you know, hoarding around and, and would, would, would people bid on it? And, and then they fight over who's going to do the excursion when they come in. So it's definitely, uh, good definitely to good hear. Staff. Good to hear. So shining a light, we're kind of flipping the table, so to speak. Um, we've got many families that are kind of turning to the fund that may never before have been looking for support from us. And we're learning a lot of those are coming from the restaurant and food service industry. So we'd love to hear um, a little bit from your end, just about Bonefish Grill um, in general. Tell us a little bit about your restaurant. Uh, I took over four years ago and uh, I mean, we take a lot of pride in, in making sure that our product quality is, is fresh and and the the people that we have on board are fantastic i mean it's it's always been our motto motto that we take care of our people and our people will take care of bonefish and and we're we're living true to that to this day um especially with our company right now being able to uh give relief pay to to our staff that aren't working currently and then family meals that we've been given to the staff and, and keeping them on board and they're super excited to to come back to work when we do open um, but then it also extends into the community, like you said, being a part of your foundation and and doing what we can do um, every day. Uh, we've we've donated food to the local hospitals, uh, police stations, law enforcement, fire stations. Um, uh, I think it was Abington Lansdale Hospital was the last one. We're we're trying to get into um, a testing facility next week um, and hopefully feed them. But being able to do our part to give back, um, we can't say thank you enough for the people that are on the front line. Um, that are risking, you know, their, their lives and their family every day to, to help everybody else. So we want to do our part um, in being able to do that. It's pretty incredible how, you know, having the doors closed, I know you're doing um, curbside pickup and we're going to get into that a little bit later and some specialized meals and opportunities. Um, I was really struck by our conversation, um, just prepping for the show in the way that you've really taken um, the lead in caring for your employees. We hear story after story about um, the industry having to furlough um, and then the horror stories about unemployment and, and being able to get through and getting checks. Tell me a little bit, you have not furloughed um, your employees. We haven't um, and I, I, I can't say how proud I am of the company that I work for that we've been able to, to give them relief checks for six weeks going currently. And we're assessing every two weeks to see if we can continue to, to go down that path. Um, and then along with that, we've, we've been given um, the ability to give them family meals. So it's nice to, we have a group text going for all my staff and, and we communicate and they get to come and pick up their, their meals. We've thrown in toilet paper for them and um, kids meals and cookies and it's exciting to see them pull up they bring their whole family with them and and we get to say hello to them in the car and uh, they're full of questions but we're able to communicate and, and give them as much assistance as possible I know I've done a, a lot of research and sent out tons of messages on on what programs there are out there that I found um, in the restaurant industry just to be able to give them some extra assistance as well as the unemployment and the relief checks and the food uh, there's there is scared 
as anybody else and it, it doesn't it doesn't vary from from industry to industry it's just it's nice to work for a company to know that that we're still holding strong and and that um that we're gonna make it make it out of this um there's a lot of restaurants and a lot of companies that probably won't so right the stain and and that's that's due to the the guests that are still coming to pick up curbside um and we've been able to adapt to that overnight uh, which has been pretty spectacular with the crew that we have in florida and and the team and, and i can't do it without my staff that i have on now my management team so i, I can't say thank you to all of them enough it sounds like you're more of a family there, which is pretty cool when we know the beginning of the month hits and you have bills to pay, just, you know, offsetting that just by providing them some family meals. Yeah, it, it is. A lot of my staff call me mom. It's funny when my kids read my text, who's calling you mom? <laughs> so, so it's nice. I'm kind of their second mom outside of home. So it's, it, it has been, it's, it's a big family and it's important to all of us. Pretty cool. So tell me a little bit, um, your restaurant has been such a loyal supporter of the fund and our events for many years. What is it about the Kelly Ann Dolan Memorial Fund um, that keeps you coming back year after year and supporting us? It's just a great way for us to be able to get out into our community and be able to, to help and donate to such a great cause. Um, it's when I first started taking over Bonefish Grill and the partnership, it was, um, it, it was a lot. It was a lot to balance at first in trying to figure out um, who we were and, and where we are in, in the community, and and being able to grow that over the last four years and be involved in that and be able to give something back um, has been a blessing for us. Uh, it's like I said, my staff get super excited. They fight over who's going to be able to go to the events and and be able to sample the food and see all the people and and be a part of that auction and be a part of the excursions coming back and. And they get as excited as I do about it. And they're constantly trying to find new ways to be able to, to get more involved, um, which is fantastic. But it's, it's, just a, it's just one step for us to be able to be a little bit closer in our community and be able to give back to such a, a great organization. That's incredible. And I know um, this year, unfortunately, going down to the wire and having to cancel the event um, when the county went under a state of emergency the day of, um, leading up to it, it was super great, you know, kind of being in touch with you and your chef. I think you were doing a pairing this year. It was kind of like you're doing a dessert and an entree, and I, you guys really get into the spirit of it, which is super fun. We do, we do, and I, and I know that, uh, you know, we come to these events and there's always the, the wine bar. We like to bring our own wine as well, too, and and it's exciting to see uh, some of the people that are at these events come up and say, oh, you have that. <laughs> and, and then, I mean, a lot of them are, are regulars that familiar faces that we see that's part of our family in our restaurant, but there's always the few that, you know, we haven't seen in a while or, or haven't been in. Um, so it's nice to, to kind of meet and greet and, and get to know those people as well. I was pretty excited to give you the new date for Taste 2021, and you're like, I gotta write know. that down. <laughs> I know, we're excited, we're excited. I already, I put it on my calendar as soon as we hung up yesterday, so awesome. we got the calendar and ready to go. We're looking forward to that celebration. Um, so let's turn to how we can support you. Um, what do you have going on in terms of, we know the restaurant doors are closed, but how can the community support um, your restaurant right now? Tell us about some of the specials and other opportunities. Uh, yeah, we've, we've uh, we started to master the art of curbside. So it's very easy. We have advanced ordering. Uh, we've got a limited menu right now. Um, so we don't have our full menu. We do have a Mother's Day special as well, uh, mahi and shrimp. Um, I'd recommend doing a pre-order. Um, the holidays we realized after Easter get crazy, um, but we've done a lot of tweaking and and, and perfecting to make sure that it goes smooth. Um, but we have family bundles on there. The mahi and shrimp is definitely a family bundle. Um, something, something for each of the family members. We've got cookies in there and we've got cheesecake available. And like I said, we do have our limited menu if it's, if it's not a big family that you're feeding um, that you can order from as well. And the product that we're getting in is, is, is as fresh as if you were coming into the restaurant, which makes it great too. Awesome. I know my favorite, one of the things I love about Bonefish is being able to go in and customize your piece of, you know, fish in terms of, you know, I'm kind of just, I want it plain with a little bit of olive oil and lemon on. Um, with that lemon, limited menu, um, is my other favorite, the bang bang shrimp on there, or is that not? Absolutely. Oh, good. That would never go away, I don't think. <laughs> I think that will bring, bring people in droves to curbside. 
Um, one of the other things, there's so many people that are looking to give back and uh, just as you're doing for the community to so many different um, first responders and medical professionals. Um, it's a great opportunity for a business um, that is in a position to sponsor a meal for um, a local firehouse or a nursing, today happens to be National Nursing Day. Yep that sort of thing. If you've got some dispensable income, come on over, order from Bonefish and deliver to some of those other essential workers that are on the front line showing up every day, putting their own health at risk um, to take care of the community and others. Yeah, yeah, and, and like I said, we also, um, they can order through DoorDash and Uber Eats as well if they can't make it out of the house. Um, and like I said, we have made it easy with the curbside. They can pay over the phone, they don't have to sign anything. Um, we drive, we bring it right out to the car and uh, it makes it nice and easy. They can also purchase gift cards um, for a Mother's Day or, or, you know, if they want to use them when we do reopen or even on curbside. So we do have those av uh, available as well. They can purchase those and, and come in uh, or come up to the store and we can, uh, we can get those going for them. We have graduation gift cards and, you know, Father's Day, I think, is coming up in a little bit too. We have those already in house. So, so getting ready for the next holiday after Mother's Day. <laughs> That's great. And I think, you know, you think of all of these um, high school seniors uh, mm -hmm. or college graduates that are not able to, you know, experience um, their special celebration. And this would just be a nice opportunity. I know families are trying to get creative on how to celebrate them. Um, I know in my neighborhood, I'm seeing a lot with the nicer weather, kind of these happy hours or gatherings. Um, with proper social distancing, yeah, people that can enjoy one another. So, you know, hop on over to Bonefish Grill. Um, this is, you know, a restaurant that you know really um, walks the talk. They give back to the community um, continuously. They have been there for us um, and the fund, so that we can continue to serve our families in need. Um, so thank you so much for being my guest today, Robin. It was a real pleasure to get to hear what's going on behind the scenes during this trying time um, and really look forward um, to when we can walk back in the doors and have a nice meal um, in the restaurant. Thank you very much for having me today. I appreciate it. You bet. All the best. Take care. Stay safe. Take care.